Hello guys, it is Cameron here from Quickshot Films and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys on how to install all you want inventory editor for Minecraft correctly and with um, so it works on multiplayer and with Optifine and stuff um, and all everything when it works and things so yeah I'm just going to show you how to do that um, basically what you have to do is patch mod loader and stuff um, so that it works um, so yeah, I'll be going through that with you guys today, and yeah, hopefully fixing some of what you guys are doing wrong. This will just be temporary because uh, this will surely get fixed soon in Mod Loader, but um, for now I'll just show you how to do it. So first, I'll show you that I've got it working. So this is Minecraft 1.6.2, as you can see. Um, I'll go into a multiplayer world just to show you that it works in multiplayer. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so basically if I go into here, okay, so you can see this is multiplayer, people are doing stuff, we'll just make a bigger screen, so yeah, um, and if I open up my inventory and click R on a slot, uh, I get the menu, I can modify the attributes, enchantments and all that stuff, I can import the item, save it and it'll be there, and yeah, once I move it around they'll go, go because it's survival um, on the server, but yeah. Um, in the creative world that would work fine. So yeah I'm just going to show you how to install this mod today and hopefully fix a lot of the problems you guys are having. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm lagging right now in Minecraft because I'm using the wrong screen recorder for recording games. Uh, but yeah. Okay <coughs> so I will start now by showing you how to do this. Okay so to start you want to download all the required mods for this. There are four different mods you'll need. Uh, the first one's mod loader, which is just the um, all these links will be in the description. Uh, next one is the fix patch for slash patch patch for mod loader, um, and that is what will make this work basically. And then all you want inventory editor and then Optifine. So yeah, all the links for these will be in the description. Um, so what you want to do is go ahead and download all of these. So for uh, the mod loader, we'll just scroll down to where it says um, the mods and then it says mod loader 1.6.2 just download this direct as you hit, as you can skip and apply by doing that and then you can exit off that tab then um, go into the uh, patch tab go into the downloads and get uh, this last one here because that one ha includes all of the fixes just because why would you want one that has only a couple of fixes so go into that last one and download it through Mediafire and download that and close that off okay and then all you want inventory editor go the normal download that'll take you through Mediafire and download that I'll just close off this ad okay and then close off that and then go into Optifine and find Ultra Optifine HDB1 Ultra for Minecraft 1.6.2 and then go into the download and that will take you through AdFly. We have to wait five seconds. Uh, then just click up here to click skip add, and then you click this download here, and that will get you all four of the mods you need for this. So now uh, we will go ahead and install these mods. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create your modded. Uh, your modded profile for Minecraft 1.6.2 so to do that um, on Windows 8 to get to that location what you need to do is right click down here in that bottom left corner click run and uh, type percent app data percent uh, as I've written it here it'll be up on screen now and then click OK that's how you do it in Windows 8 and um, Windows 7 you click the start menu option type run into the search bar and then open that and then type percent app data percent in the run. Uh, go into your dot minecraft once you've got your roaming folder loaded. Uh, actually no, yeah no it should take you to the roaming and then you go to dot minecraft and then um, what you'll want to do is go into the versions folder of your dot minecraft and as you can see I've already got a few profiles set up for minecraft um, 1.6.2 uh, but to create a new profile, basically what you want to do is copy your 1.6.2 folder. So just copy all of that and paste it again. And that will create a 1.6.2 copy. 
what you want to do is rename that to what you would like. So uh, if I typed uh, mod loader, uh, all you want, because that's mod loader all you want mod. Um, and then I'd go into that, and then what you'd want to do is rename both of these to exactly how you spelt that. So I'd type mod loader all you want and then just make sure I've spelled it correctly and I have so I will right click on this and rename it to the same thing okay and once you've done that just click out of that then what you want to do is open up this uh, JSON document and to do that you want to right click and open with and then um, open it up with a notepad so you find that somewhere in there and then um, what you want to go and ahead and do is change this 1.6.1 in these quotation marks here uh, change it 1.6.1 to the name you have been naming it this time this whole time so change it to exactly the same spelling uh, yeah and just do it all the same so um, spell everything exactly the same and do that inside these two quotation marks here and then go file and save then close that off and you have set up your profile thing kind of. uh, okay so to first thing you want to do is install uh, mod loader so to do that um, right click on this and open with WinRAR Archiver if you don't have WinRAR Archiver I'll post a link in the description to where you can download and install this program it's basically a um, uh, it opens up zipped and lock files kind of it's an archiver <laughs> it's to do to edit jar files and things it's yeah so open that with uh, WinRAR archiver and it'll open up this page just close that uh, and then uh, what you want to go ahead and do is delete this meta inf and click yes and then drag that over to the side then uh, go back into your uh, where you've got your mod loader download saved right click on that and open with WinRAR <coughs> drag that to the side open up and open up your other one and then click in your mod loader WinRAR and do control A and that will select all of these files then go ahead and drag all of those into here and click OK then go ahead and close that off then go back into where you've got your mod saved and uh, load up this patch, open with uh, WinRAR Archiver drag that to the side and open up your uh, your other page and then click on one of the files in your mod loader patch file and control A that and drag that into your uh, mod loader all you want jar so click OK and this should install mod loader onto your Minecraft. So just close off the mod loader patch one and uh, open up your Minecraft and it should install, oh wait, sorry, I'm skipping a step. First, first thing you'll need to do, like after you've done all that, is uh, click the new profile option here, uh, type in the name for it, so I'll just go modded all you want uh, and then select in here what are you named your uh, jar so I I named it mod loader all you want so that's the one I'll select uh, and click save profile and that should create a new uh, a new profile here and if you click on that you have to re-log in Sorry if this is tutorial's taking a while, I just want to cover everything. And sorry if I've been a bit confusing. This is the first time I've made a Minecraft uh, mod uh, installation tutorial. <laughs> sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. Um, okay, so once you've typed in your login, uh, do log me in automatically and click play. This will install mod loader and all that stuff with the patch and everything. So as you can see, Minecraft's starting up okay. So now we just need to close off that. That was just to um, create a new file in our 
think enough folder. So this is the bulk of it. All you really need to install now is Optifine and the all you want uh, folder. So first of all we'll go ahead and install Optifine. So go right click on that and open with WinRAR. Then drag that to the side, to the right hand side. Because that's how we're sorting it out. Okay, and now open up your um, your jar file that you've been editing. Go into your Optifine one. Click on a file in there and go Control A. Now drag all of those files back into the into your uh, modded jar. So drag all of those files into here. It's a lot of files, but yeah. And then click OK for it to copy them all over. Then uh, close off Optifine and I think you probably have to run the game again after this so just open up your Minecraft launcher and click play and that will run your game again and you should have Optifine installed so if you've got video settings yes you do so all the options for Optifine cool and now what you want to go ahead and do is uh, install all you want so to do this right click on that open with WinRAR drag that to the right side uh, click close, open up mod load, uh, the uh, modded jar, click on one of these files, click control A and then drag those all into your modded jar. Okay, and that will copy them all over. Now what you want to do is close off that, open, run your Minecraft again, and this should work fine and you should have both all the mods installed and if I go into the server basically what the patch fixes is um, the GUI because the GUI doesn't load up in multiplayer servers without that patch so um, so if you go Q oh, E and then uh, R on your slot it will open up the GUI and you'll be able to edit all your stuff so um, I hope this tutorial helped you, it, um, I was quite surprised when I figured this out because I've been waiting the last wee while to get this fixed and then I realised there was a patch for it, um, so um, don't have to wait until it gets fixed, so yeah, I um, hope this tutorial help has helped you guys out, um, if you want to know what this server is, the, link, the um, IP will also be in the description, basically it's just the hub of different things. Um, but yeah, so it's got a creative as well that you can go on so you can play with this mod on there. Um, but yeah, I hope this has helped you guys out. Um, I know a lot of people on All You Want form have been wanting something like this as, uh, as they've had heaps of problems uh, with that. Hope this has helped. Hope it didn't drag out too long. I know this has gone a bit over time most tutorials would take, but uh, I just wanted to go into full depth. So uh, I will see you guys later, hope you guys have enjoyed, and uh, yeah, so that's it. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.